words he speaks are true. We're all human every stew. We don't pledge allegiance to the Black Widow. His sting, the unholiest of kings, the Black Widow. Hello, and welcome to episode 13 of the Spider's Parlor. I am the Spider, and tonight we continue our series with part three of my Nightmares Come True, the deviant discography of Alice Cooper. Uh, last time we focused on Love It to Death and Killer. Tonight we move forward with Schools Out and Billion Dollar Babies. Kicking off with 1972 Schools Out, Alice Cooper's signature song would come from this album. Uh, it be, Schools Out became the national anthem in the month of May and is just, just one of those songs you can never get tired of no matter what age you are. Everybody remembers that last three minutes of school that you just you knew the minute you were done at three o'clock you were out for three months and the minute it hits Alice said this song was meant to capture be captured uh, a feeling almost as if you were having you know an orgasm of sorts and that's you know that's how it I guess hits uh, for people um, but that's you know, that's what he's always said so my apologies to anyone out there that might have been offended with that statement but uh, that's what the man has always said uh, but School's Out was, you know, is a very cool album. Uh, one of his very first, uh, actually I guess it would be considered his very first concept album of sorts. School's Out was, um, basically an album of rebellion and, you know, teenage angst and all that stuff. The album was made to look like a desk with initials of the band written in it. The actual album, the legs fold out into a desk. However, I have a version that sadly did not come with the paper panties that would wrap around the album. Yes, there were actually paper panties that the album uh, had. Uh, very hard to find if you are able to find it. Please get a copy. I recommend it. The songs on here, besides the title track, some of the best uh, rock songs the man's ever done appear on here. One of my all-time favorites that up until recently, uh, he has never, he only performed it one time the entire 37 years this album's been out. And that's a song called Looney Tune, and it's spelled L-U-N-E-Y Tune. Um, and it's just this great, in, you know, song about a person that just, you know, you know, ends their life in an insane asylum type of thing. It's just very creepy and very cool. Um, and he performed it recently uh, at Arizona, you know, University, where uh, President Obama was at uh and so that was you know back in may so that was pretty cool uh gutter cats versus the jets his tribute to west side story uh and it's just you know on stage by far one of the coolest uh theatrical stunts he's done which includes him and the band usually as a gang versus another group of people uh extras in his you know stage show uh, and they fight, and Alice usually ends up slitting the throat of the gang leader. Uh, and then another great tune from this is Public Animal Number no. Nine, uh, which you know is just a really cool song. Uh, I, I mean, I can't rave on enough about this one. I mean, you know, we got songs like Blue Turk, which is a very bluesy song, uh, and one of my all-time favorites came from this. Uh, alma Mater I would love to hear him do that song uh, It mentions Alice's Well, Alma Mater Of Cortez And it's, you know, very It's one of the most relaxing songs The man has ever done And it just, you know 
it's almost just you know it's really relaxing you could just kind of shut your eyes and just hear just the, the rhythm of the music play it's just it's it's really a beautiful song actually um and then you know it's got one of my favorite lines that has been used in a lot of alice um interviews and stuff and a lot of the fans use it a lot too and at the end it says hey don't be a stranger now remember the coop and you know yeah it's just it School's Out is a very underrated album, even though the single went to number two. Oh, the single, I'm sorry. The album went to number two. Uh, the song was a top ten hit, and it, you know, it proved to be a huge success and established Alice even further. Uh, the song is played everywhere. It's now currently being used in the Arby's commercials. Uh, it's just, you know It's been redone by other bands. It's... It's a very good song, and of course, during the stage show, it's also a moment of great, uh, you know, energy because Alice is usually uh, resurrected by the time this song comes to life on the stage. He's in his white top hat and white coattails. Usually, the coattails and the top hat are covered in blood. He'll bring out the baton and he'll start swinging it, and then he'll order the balloons to be out in the audience, and he starts popping them. Uh, but you know. All of this, you know, this album and the songs, I cannot speak highly enough, but it gets even better. 